Yo commanders, are you tired of enemies annoying you with endless chaff while you send all your ammunition into the infinity of space? Or do you feel it's time to finally step up from low skill inbuilt weaponry and taste the real thing used by most experienced commanders in the galaxy? Or do you simply want to have the most badass looking piece of equipment on your hard points? If you think yes, then this video is for you, because it's about plasma accelerators. These magnificent devices of destruction are undoubtedly the most powerful weapons in the game. They come in classes 2, 3 and 4 and deal a massive damage for their size. 60% of the damage is absolute, 20% is kinetic and 20% is thermal. So you better pack some megajoules of shield energy when you're flying in a plasma hazard zone. They also allow for a number of very useful specials. The target lock breaker effect causes the enemy ship to lose its lock and the dispersal effect confuses gimbal weapons for some seconds. Both are extremely annoying and commonly used. There is also phasing and thermal conduit which gain popularity among commanders. Phasing causes some damage to seep through the shields, very useful against shield tanks with paper hulls and the thermal conduit gives you a strong damage boost whenever your ship has high heat. Watch enemies melt away under hot plasma bombardment with that one. However, using plasma accelerators is not easy and they are not for greenhorns. The reasons are they only come fixed and they have a low projectile speed of 850 meters per second. This makes it hard to aim and land the shots. With a focused engineering blueprint, you can jack that projectile speed up to over 1700 meters per second, but that often leads to high heat generation. Hitting is easier then, but if you have more than two class 3 focused BAs, you can cook yourself a meal on the dashboard. Plasma accelerators not only generate a lot of heat, they are also heavy on the power distributor. That's why one of the best engineering blueprints for them is great fire efficient. There is in fact no downside to this modification and it's extremely popular. There's a lot more theory, but I want to get into the practical side of using them now. So how do I train with plasmas you ask? Here's what I would recommend. Get a ship with good lateral thruster power, like the Viper Mark III, the Furtherlands or the Alliance Chieftain. I don't recommend the Mamba, because the two class 3 hardpoints have such a poor convergence that you won't hit a full volley against a medium ship. It's the same with all fixed weapons. Convergence matters. Next, buy yourself some plasma accelerators. You can find some practice builds in the video description. It's also recommended to engineer them with the efficient blueprint. The higher the grade, the better. There are three things you need to train when you want to master plasma accelerators. Range control, shooting, hit management. Step 1. Range control. To hit with plasmas, you need to be able to get close and stay close to your target. Don't even think about shooting when you are more than 1.5 km away. Mastering range control means to have a good feeling for the right vectoring and boost target. This is best practiced with another commander with a simple catch game. One commander tries to gain range and the other stays as close as he can. Use two ships with the same top speed and do it in asteroids that improves spatial awareness. It's also good evasion training for the runner. He must try and fly as unpredictable as possible and seek additional cover from the asteroids. And please, don't ever fly in a straight line. Boost timing and ample use of lateral thrusters is critical. Tighten your turns by using the respective lateral thrusters. I toggle FA on for extra juice on the laterals. This means even tighter turns. Try to boost after your target and in the right vector. Deploy the hard points to get a leading reticule from your plasmas and the position of the circle helps you find the right vector. And don't fly in the exhaust fumes of the enemy. Try to cut corners and flank him. If you see him go around an asteroid, try to guess where he is going and then go the other way around. 
Step 2. Shooting. When you start getting the hang of it, you can start shooting when you're closer than 1.5 kilometers. Pay attention to the boosts of your enemy. You see it when his engines are flashing. Don't shoot before he boosts, but after. That's when his vector is more stable. The trick is to get your crosshair into the reticule when you're close enough and then fire. Now there are two ways to get your crosshair into the reticule. First is to rotate your ship with pitching, yawing and rolling and bring the crosshair to the reticule. This is straightforward and how most commanders will naturally do it. Second is to use your lateral thrusters and manipulate the leading reticule of your target to pull it to the crosshair. This might look less effective at first, but if you combine it with a well-timed boost, then you can really move that reticule around. This is the reason why I recommend to practice with a ship that has good lateral power. Most commanders will only use the first method, but I highly encourage you to use both with an emphasis on the second. Not only do you have a better chance of landing a nice shot, but you also become a lot harder to hit yourself. Step 3. Pit Management Pit management is super important, and not just for using plasma accelerators, but pips is a complex subject and requires a tutorial of its own. Hence, I will only very briefly go into it and recommend something for beginners. Because high boost availability and good maneuverability are super important in plasmas, you will understand that flying around with four pips in systems the whole time won't work. You need those pips in engines as often as you can. Only move your pips to systems when you need to. This is either when you're closing in on your enemy, or when you see his blip in the radar flash. Once you have passed him, it is time for recharging the distro for engines and weapons with 042 or 033. I recommend to use macros for fast pip switching and you should be able to control the pips with buttons you can reach easily and without having to move your fingers away from your thruster controls. For a beginner, I think that using 420 and 033 in turns can get you already a long way. Use 033 whenever you are at distance and to recharge your weapons and engines. Use 420 when you're closing in to deliver your shot, but you also risk getting hit yourself. Now get out there, get rid of your gimbals and slap some sexy plasmas on and then you can start your training to become another plasma hazard. I am Desper and I thank you for watching.